Your Excellency, it has been a joy having you here in St. Lucia with us, especially for the giving of those papal awards yesterday at the cathedral. 29 people who have served the, the church well and are very committed Catholic Christians were awarded um, special honors by the Holy Father, including a former governor general, Dame Paulette Louise Emerita. And, your presence, of course, added something extra to our celebration yesterday because you are the Pope's representative. Could you share with us a little bit your own um, experience of what took place yesterday and how you envisage, because you were part of helping to get the Archdiocese these awards and to be here to actually give them out. What has it been like for you as an experience of church in St. Lucia? The first thing I have to mention is um, that it has been my great pleasure to be here with you to celebrate um, the Immaculate Conception which is a major solemnity for us, and I'm sure also for this archdiocese. Uh, she is a patroness of um, the cathedral. I also would like to mention that as the representative of the Pope, it is with pleasure that I have come also to bring the blessing and the warm affection of His Holiness Pope Francis to your lush, to your grace and to the entire clergy and the faithful and actually the citizenry of um, St. Lucia together with the government, the government and the people of St. Lucia bring the greetings and the blessings of Pope Francis. The awards of yesterday, the awards in the Catholic Church uh, expression of gratitude and recognition that comes from the church for the dedication and the service um, the people have uh, given um, to the church and um, to the mission of the church in a particular place. And it is um, with pleasure that I have been able to represent the Pope in giving this, handing out these awards to the um, beneficiaries. I want to mention that in my years in the service of the Holy See, it is the first time I was able to deal with such number of requests at a time. And I was um, marveling at the generosity of your grace in asking for so many awards for your um, faithful. Um, at one time, we even were afraid that we would not be able to obtain all of them. Um, and so we were very happy, very glad um, when we received the whole package. And um, uh, we also accepted willingly to be here in spite of the difficulties in the journey um, to come to be with you. I wish to mention that the awards in the Catholic Church are not sold. They are not commercialized. They are signs of gratitude of the, uh, of the Church of the Holy Father. Um, but of course, we have medals, we have wares, we have things, and um, um, the people that receive awards sometimes also express their gratitude to the Holy Father by giving, making some contribution to the works of charity of the Pope. And so I was glad uh, to note that you also reminded the people that received the awards that it would be a good thing also for them to share in the mission of the Holy Father by sending whatever little contribution they could to, the, um, to His Holiness. Um, of course, the presence of the Pope in a country is not usually commercial, it is not military, it is always pastoral. It is always um, aimed at the, uh, the protection and the support of human dignity, the good of the human person as a whole, and then the spread of the gospel. So um, yesterday, 
was a special occasion for us. And um, it has been my great pleasure um, to be with you. And I'm expressing my gratitude and also the gratitude of my deputy, Father Luciano Labanca, who accompanied me, who has been here with me for this visit. Thank you very much. Wonderful, wonderful. And so we are grateful to all those who serve in the church and give of their time and talent and treasure so generously to the building up of the church here in St. Lucia. Uh, yesterday was also a very special time for people who are what we call little people in the church. You know, they're, they're not people with doctorates and people with in, in high profile um, positions in society or even in the church and yet they were presented by their parishes for awards because of their humility their love for the church their commitment to the church and their service so we are we are grateful we are thankful and as archbishop i would like to say thank you to the church again and to all of you who serve in the church and I hope that we will continue to give of our best always. Your Grace, um, you have been thanking your collaborators. I was not able to come at the end of June when you did your own um, Thanksgiving. Um, and I would have loved to be here, but the COVID protocols did not permit me to come. Uh, since I'm here, I've been taking the opportunity to say to you on behalf of His Holiness Pope Francis, thank you for your service in this country as Archbishop of Castries. Thank you for all you have done, not even before coming here, the places you served here in the Caribbean. Um, thank you. Thank you for your resilience. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your sacrifice. And thank you for all you have done. I know you have been asking um, the Holiness, His Holiness, to grant you the opportunity to really um, um, retire, um, to be able to dedicate yourself to the thing you know how to do, the thing you love to do, and that is writing poems Amen. and going into poetry. Yes. Well, I can assure you that the Hol His Holiness is um, thinking seriously about it, and we are also working with His Holiness and with um, the bishops of the region and also um, the faithful. And I can assure you that um, in the not distant future, we are going to be able, hopefully, to get you the good news from His Holiness Wonderful. and the good news also for the Archdiocese of Castries and for the people of this part of the Caribbean. Thank you very much. Yes.